Hello friends, welcome to Curiosity High. In this session, we are going to go through the concept of time in maths for grade 3 students. We look at the different kind of questions that come under this topic. And yes, we will solve them together. You can pause the video and solve the questions and then look at the approach that we have taken to solve them quickly. But before we go ahead, do not forget to like, share and subscribe to Curiosity Hype. Also click on the bell icon to get regular notifications of our videos. So let's start with the concept of time. So first let's take a look at a clock. And a clock has a longer hand and a shorter hand. Now the long hand is called a minute hand and the shorter hand is called the hour hand. The minute hand takes one hour to complete one full round of the clock. Whereas the hour hand takes 12 hours to complete one round around the clock. And as for the conversions, one hour is 60 minutes and one minute is 60 seconds. Now the next thing that we need to focus is on the reading of time. Now whenever the minute hand points to 12, the time is equal to the number pointed by the hour hand. In this case, it's 1 o'clock. When the minute hand covers one quarter of the circle, we say the time is quarter past one because the hour hand has moved off one a bit. Then when the minute hand covers half of the circle of the clock, we call the time to be half past one. Now when the minute hand covers three quarters of the circle, we call the time to be three quarters past one or another way to call this time is quarter to two that means quarter is left for the clock to strike two so this is how we read the time now the next slide tells us that a day is made up of 24 hours and the first 12 hours are day which are called am and the next 12 hours are night which are called pm well, if you look at the clock from 12 midnight to 12 in the noon, it is daytime or am and after 12, it is pm and the hours that we count are from 12, that is 1 pm is 13 hours, 2 pm is 14 hours, so on and so forth. Now, let's come to the concept of calendar. Now, a calendar has 12 months or we can say a year has 12 months. And to count which months have 31 days and which months have 30 days, we make use of our knuckles such that the month coming on knuckle has 31 days and the month coming in space has 30 days, so on and so forth, except for February which has 28 or 29 days and the 29 days are a sign of a leap year. And that is why a normal year has 365 days while a leap year has 366 days because of having 29 days in February. And this leap year comes once in 4 years. Next concept in the calendar is the days of the week which starts from Sunday to Saturday. There are 7 days in a week and 1 month has 4 weeks and 1 year has 52 weeks. These are some important conversions that we should keep in mind and also the word fortnight indicates two weeks. So with this knowledge, we are good to tackle the problems ahead of us in this topic. Let's look at the first question which reads, The principal of a school announced to hold the morning prayer exactly after 15 minutes. The current time in the morning is shown below in the clock. At what time will the prayer start? Now this is the clock and after 15 minutes means after a quarter. So after a quarter the minute hand will come here pointing at 8.30 am which is our right answer. Next question. Rita started cooking a cake at the time shown below. The time shown is 2 hours 15 minutes or 2 o'clock and 15 minutes. It needs to be cooked for 150 minutes. At what time will the cake be ready? Well, can you get this answer easily? Yes, you can. Remember, 1 hour is equal to 60 minutes. 
now here we have 150 minutes let's try to break it in terms of 60 so 150 is 60 plus 60 which makes it 120 plus 30 which is 1 hour plus 1 hour plus half an hour which is 30 minutes so the total time is 2 hours and 30 minutes let's add it to the starting time of 2:15 so to this we add 2 hour 30 minutes which is minutes 15 plus 30 will make it 45 and 2 plus 2 will make it 4 so the time when the cake will be baked will be 4 o'clock and 45 minutes option b next question sara's sister was born on 29 february 2000 If it is 2013 now, after how many years can she celebrate her sister's birthday? Well, 29 February 2000 means 2000 is a leap year, and to celebrate Sarah's sister's birthday, it needs to be done at every leap year. And leap year starting from 2000 will come once in every four years. So 2000 plus four. Will give us two thousand four, which is the next leap year. Again, four years go by. We get the next leap year in two thousand eight. Again, after four years, we are in two thousand twelve, and again four years, and the leap year comes in two thousand and sixteen. Now, if it is two thousand thirteen now, so if it is two thousand thirteen now, let me mark it as thirteen. After how many years can she celebrate her sister's birthday? So one. Two and the third year will be her sister's birthday, so she needs to wait option A two years to celebrate her sister's birthday, which will fall on two thousand sixteen. Next question: Richard's sister is eight weeks old. His friend's sister is six weeks, ten days old. How many more days old is Richard's sister than his friend's sister? So let's write Richard's sister here. And let me call the friend sister as F. Now Richard's sister is eight weeks old, and we know one week is equal to seven days. Correct? So Richard's sister, who's eight weeks old, is equal to eight times seven, which is equal to fifty-six days. And Richard's friend sister is six weeks plus. Ten days old. Now six weeks will be equal to six times seven plus ten, and six times seven is forty-two plus ten, which will make her fifty-two days old. So the difference between these two is fifty-six minus two, which is four days. So Richard's sister is option C, four days older than his friend sister. Let's look at the next question which reads Rahul has to catch a train to Delhi. Trains arrive after every 40 minutes. If the first train arrives at 7:10 a.m., then the fourth train will arrive at what time? Here the common mistake kids do is multiply 40 minutes by four trains because you need to find the fourth train. But that's not correct. Always plot this number line. Now the first train has arrived at seven ten a.m. Then the second train will arrive in forty minutes. Third train will again arrive after forty minutes from second train, and the fourth train will arrive in another forty minutes. So the time from seven ten till the fourth train is forty plus forty plus forty. That is equal to one twenty minutes, and one twenty minutes, if you split up in terms of sixty, is sixty minutes plus sixty minutes, which is one hour each. So that means the total time for one twenty minutes is two hours. So one twenty minutes is two hours of addition from seven ten. Hence, the fourth train will arrive at nine ten a.m. So our answer will be option B. Next question: State whether the below statements are true or false. The short hand of the clock is called the minute hand, 
try to recollect no this is false the short hand is called the hour hand let's look at the second statement the hour hand takes 12 hours to complete one round do you remember we discussed this this is true the minute hand takes one hour and the hour hand takes 12 hours to complete one round next is there are 300 seconds in 30 minutes do you want to try this one minute is equal to 60 seconds so 30 minutes will be equal to 30 times 60 which is equal to 1800 seconds so this is false next is six months in a year have 31 days well quickly check these are the months with 31 days which is 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 so this is also false so our answer should be f 2 true 3 false and 4 false which is option a now let's go to our final question amit left home at 11 am he spent 15 minutes walking to sam's house and then stayed there for 2 hours and 15 minutes Amit then spent another 15 minutes to come back to home. At what time did Amit arrive home? Well, here let's write the times. So Amit left his home at 11 a.m. Then he spent 15 minutes walking. So what time is it now? It is 11 15. Now let's read the second part. He then stayed at Sam's house for 2 hours 15 minutes. So let's add 2 hours and 15 minutes. Well, this will be 15 plus 15 is 30 minutes and 11 plus 2 is 13. Remember, this 13 is nothing but 1 p.m. So it is 13.30 and then he spent 15 minutes to come back. So let's add another 15 minutes which make it 13.45 or 1.45 p.m. Because 13 is nothing but 1 p.m. So at what time did Amit arrive home? Quarter to 1? No, because quarter to 1 is 12.45. That is 15 minutes before 1. Quarter past 1? No, because that is 1.15. Quarter past 12? So that will be 12.15. And quarter to 2, that means 15 minutes before 2, which is 1.45, which is the right match. And option C is the right answer. I hope you learned, understood and had fun at the same time. So for more such videos, do not forget to like our channel. If you have any queries or any suggestions, please do comment below this video or also you can reach out to us at our email, Instagram or Facebook profiles. Till we meet again, take care.